Fitting higher performance summer tires would likely improve the 86's cornering limits and feel. While Toyota Racing Development offers a range of port and dealer installed go fast parts for the 86, only the 2017 Subaru is available with a factory performance package, $1,195 for upgraded sack stampers, bigger brakes with Brembo calipers, and slightly wider wheels. We've found that package to be worth the expense just for the upgraded stoppers and their improved pedal feel. Simple Workspace Improvements to the 86's cabin carry over the trim upgrade Cyan instituted on the FRS for 2016, including a new vinyl-like material on the dash and door panels that Toyota calls Grand Lux, as well as a new steering wheel with audio and Bluetooth controls. The 86 also retains the FRS's 8-speaker Pioneer audio system with a 7.0-inch touchscreen. It is vastly superior to the original head unit that these cars made their debut with, yet it remains woefully outdated. Although relatively comfortable, the cabin is spartan. Of the two siblings, the Subaru has a bit more polish inside, thanks to better integration of its center stack controls and an available 4.2-inch LCD display in the instrument cluster. The 86's lone trim level starts at $27,120, up $1,020 from last year's Scion, and splits the difference between the BRZ's manual-only premium, $26,315, and up-level limited, $28,465, models, the latter of which brings several features not offered on the Toyota, such as push-button start along with leather and micro suede upholstery. At an as-tested $27,683, our test